Hi there, it's Joa from Special Heart Studio. I am going to show in this tutorial how to create a, a name or a word in a layered format like this one. This design, the split tools, I published free on my blog last week and I provided three different versions, a blank version, this dad version, and grandpa. But if you want to put a different word here, now with Cricut releasing the offset function, that will be something that you could easily replace dad and add your own word or, or name there. So I'm going to show how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and use dad again as my example. This is a font that I purchased from Font Bundles. I will link it in the, the description of the video. It's called Sports Champs. It's actually a, a pack of, I don't know, six or eight different fonts. They're really cute. And at least as I'm recording this today, it's on sale half off. So it's only five, maybe six bucks. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to make the font size 130 points and you'll see I'm going to also scoot the letter spacing in just a bit um, this is one of the features that will be coming to design space kerning is the appropriate spacing of fonts and that's one that I'm excited they said would be an upcoming feature so we have dad and just to make it look the same, I create my designs in Adobe Illustrator, but I'm trying to recreate it and show everyone how you can do it much easier now in Cricut Design Space. So I have the dad. I'm going to go ahead and weld that even though they're not touching, it seems to work better with the offset. And I, I'm done making some, some edits to it. So now that I have dad typed out in red, we'll come up here to the offset feature. And these I used, 0.12 you'll see I was already in here and tested this out so I typed in 0.12 you can use the slider to change this and you can use a rounded corner or a square corner for this project specifically I used a more of a square corner and the offset I used was 0.12 inches so we will apply that and then there are actually three different offsets. So we will do that three times. So I'm gonna come select that offset I just created and do it again. And then we will do it one more time. So that latest offset created, I'm going to offset that once again, one more time. So now we have the different colors and you'll see I have a little bit wonky thing here. That's okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So to make it look like this one, we'll match the colors up so we have dad the gray okay i may not have the sizing exactly perfect but but that's okay it's it's the same point so one of the things in design software you can change some of the settings the sensitivity settings and whatnot um, obviously this is brand new to Design Space and Cricut has said it's still in beta. So they want to know when things like this happen. Um, and even in, in Adobe Illustrator, this happens. And like I said, you have to change some of the settings. But to get rid of it on here, we can slice that off. So we're gonna make a shape. Um, I'm just going to use a simple square here and I'm going to zoom in on this. so that I can get nice and up close. So I'm going to line this up and use that square basically as an eraser. There we go, I have the two, well, lined up pretty well here. I'm gonna select both of them and slice, and then I can delete these slice results that I don't want. And now I have that so that it matches. We'll move these back down. Now my weld is on top. We'll move it back down here and we can align these. And now they look similar.
So that is how you would use the offset feature specifically with this, this design. Um, I know why it looks different. The gray is different. There. Another thing you could do that I thought of, this can be tricky if you've cut this to try to line up the layers in the, the right, to get the top of the tools and the bottom of the tools lined up once you've cut them since they're separate pieces, it can be a bit tricky. So I'm going to delete that original dad. And what you could do is come in up in here and make this just a hair bigger so that it overlaps and then weld them. And this is one of the things that's fun about working in design space and using some of these designs. I actually love it when people customize my designs to fit their needs. So I highlighted the whole thing. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to select these black layers, which is the bottom layer, and weld them all. So now it will be easier to line up, even though the rest of them are still separate. We will right click this and send it to back. Now at least when we make it, oh, I had it big so that it's easier to see. Whoa, let's highlight all of this, make it smaller. I had it big so it was easier to see on screen. So now these pieces are separate, but at least the black piece, the bottom piece will all be one item and then it'll be much easier when, if especially when cutting this from paper uh, to line it all up perfectly. I hope that makes sense. I hope I wasn't rambling too much. Um, the design, the split tool design can be downloaded free on my website, specialheartstudio.com. I'd love if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.